learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to know the meaning of partnership and its features understand the meaning of partnership deed and its importance know the provisions of indian partnership act for partnership accounting understand the methods for preparing partnership capital accounts explain the concept of distribution of profit amongst partners learn the methods of calculating interest on capital in various situations elaborate the methods to calculate interest on drawings explain the methods to make adjustment in profit and loss appropriation account nature of partnership what is partnership when two or more people start a business and share profit and loss they are called as partners and the association between them is known as a partnership the partnership act 1932 defines partnership as the relation between persons who have agreed to share the profits of a business carried on by all or any of them acting for all the persons who are in the partnership with each other are individually called as partners and jointly that partnership is called as firm the name which they carry out the business is called as firm's name features of partnership the essential features of a partnership firm are two or more persons there should be at least two persons to start a partnership and having common goals the maximum limit of members can be 10 in a banking firm but for other businesses the maximum limit is 20 agreement it is an agreement between the partners to share profit and losses of the business this agreement can be written or oral business there should be some business to carry on in a partnership firm only co-ownership of a property does not mean partnership mutual agency business can be carried out by one partner on behalf of others or everyone can carry out the task each partner carrying on the business is the principal as well as the agent for all the other partners salient features of partnership sharing of profit there should be an agreement between the partners to share profit and loss of the business if people start up a firm for charity purposes then that is not called a partnership liability of partners each partner is liable to the third party for the acts of the firm individually as well as jointly the liability of the partners is unlimited and to pay off firms debts their personal assets can also be used what is a partnership deed the partnership deed is an agreement between the partners in written or in oral it contains the terms of the agreement it contains all the details about the business objectives the contribution of capital by each partner profit and loss sharing ratio between the partners and entitlement of partners to interest on capital and interest on loan the deed should be properly drafted and prepared as per the provisions of the stamp act and preferably registered with the registrar of firms provisions relevant for accounting the important provisions that affect partnership accounts are as follows profit sharing ratio if nothing is mentioned about profit and loss sharing in partnership deed then it should be distributed equally amongst the partners interest on capital no partner can claim any interest on capital invested in the business by him without the consent of all the partners in case no interest rate mentioned in deed then it will be paid at 6% per annum provision relevant for accounting interest on drawings the interest will not be charged on the drawings by the partners unless mentioned in the deed interest on advances if any partner has lent the money to the business other than capital invested then the partner can get interest on the amount at the rate of 6% per annum remuneration of firm's work the partner cannot charge any salary for the work done in business unless it is mentioned in the deed indian partnership act specifies that if any partner receives any profit for himself from any business transaction or by using any business property then he is accountable to pay it to the firm if any partner carries any business 
other than a partnership firm, but is of the same nature and competing with the firm, then he should pay all profits to the firm. Special Aspects of Partnership Accounts In the accounting term, we treat the partnership firm similar to the sole proprietorship business with the following exceptions. Maintenance of partners' capital accounts. Distribution of profit and loss amongst the partners. Adjustment for the wrong appropriation of profits in the past. Reconstitution of the partnership firm. Dissolution of the partnership firm. Maintenance of capital accounts of partners. All transactions that are related to the partners are recorded through their capital accounts. These transactions include amount invested as capital, profits, partners' salary, interest on capital, and interest on drawings, etc. There are two methods to maintain the capital accounts of the partners. Methods for maintaining capital accounts of partners. Fixed capital method. In this method, the capital of the partners remains fixed by the time more amount is invested or withdrawn as per the agreement. All transactions like interest on capital, interest on drawings, the share of profit or loss, etc. are recorded in the partner's current account. The capital accounts of the partner will always show a credit balance which will remain the same unless there is an addition or withdrawal of capital. The current account of the partner may show a debit or a credit balance. So under fixed capital method, two accounts are maintained for each partner, vis-a-vis -vis capital account and current account. The partner's capital accounts shall always appear on the liabilities side in the balance sheet, whereas the current account is to be shown on the liabilities side if they have a credit balance and on the assets side if they have a debit balance. Fluctuating capital method under fluctuating capital method only, one account is maintained for each partner, which is capital account. All the entries related to interest on capital, drawings, salary, etc. are done directly in the capital account of the partner. That's why the balance of the capital account does not remain fixed and keeps on changing. If no instructions are given, then the capital account is to be prepared under this method. Difference between fixed and fluctuating capital method of accounting. The main points of difference between the fixed and the fluctuating methods of accounting are as follows. Number of accounts. Under fixed capital account method, two accounts are prepared for each partner capital and partner's current account, whereas in fluctuating method only, capital accounts are maintained. Adjustments. In fixed capital method, all adjustments of transactions like interest on capital, salary, interest on drawing, etc. are done in the current account, whereas in another method, all these transactions are done in the capital account. Fixed balance. In fixed capital account method, the balance of capital account remained unchanged unless there is an investment in capital or withdrawal from the capital, whereas in another method, the balance of capital account fluctuates time to time. Credit balance. The capital accounts in fixed capital method always shows a credit balance, whereas in fluctuating method, the capital account sometimes shows a debit balance. Distribution of profit amongst partners. The distribution of profit and losses amongst the partners is done as per the ratio decided through deed. If there is nothing mentioned, then the profit and losses will be distributed equally amongst all the partners. In a partnership firm, it is important to prepare a profit and loss appropriation account to calculate the final amount of profit and loss to be distributed amongst the partners in their profit sharing ratio decided in deed. Profit and Loss Appropriation Account The purpose of the Profit and Loss Appropriation Account is to show how the profit and loss are distributed amongst the partners. Whatever transactions a firm required to do for interest on capital, salary, partners, commissions, interest on drawings, etc. 
are to be done through this account. The profit and loss appropriation accounts start with net profit or net loss, which is transferred to the profit and loss account. The journal entries done are 1. Transfer of profit and loss account to profit and loss appropriation account. There are two conditions in that situation. A. If the profit and loss account shows a credit balance. B. If the profit and loss account shows a debit balance. 2. Interest on capital. A. If crediting interest on capital to partner's capital account. Please note that this will be done for individual accounts of the partners. B. For transferring interest on capital to profit and loss appropriation account. 3. Interest on drawings. A. For charging interest on drawings to partners capital accounts. B. For transferring interest on drawings to profit and loss appropriation account. 4. Partners salary. A. For crediting partners salary to partners capital account. B. For transferring partners salary to profit and loss appropriation account. 5. Partners commission. A. For crediting commission to partners capital account. B. For transferring commission paid to partners to profit and loss appropriation account. 6. Share of profit and loss after appropriation. A. If profit. B. If loss. Calculation of interest on capital. No interest is allowed on partners' capital without the consent of all the partners. When it is mentioned in the partnership deed, then the interest on capital is credited to the partners on the rate on which all the partners are agreed and for the time the capital remained in the business in the accounting year. The interest on capital is provided in two situations. When the partners do not contribute equally, but share the profits equally. When the partners contribute the same amount of capital, but the rate of profit sharing is unequal amongst them. Let us take the help of a few examples to understand to calculate the interest on capital. For example, Rohit, Rashmi and Rajan entered into a partnership, bringing in rupees 3 lakh, rupees 2 lakh and rupees 1 lakh into the business. They decided to share profits and losses equally and agreed that interest on capital will be provided to the partners at the rate 10% per annum. There was no addition or withdrawal of capital by any partner during the year. So their interest on capital will be calculated as 30,000 for Rohit, 20,000 for Rashmi, 10,000 for Rajan. Take another example where Reshma and Radha, who are partners in a firm, and the capital account balance is rupees 2 lakh and rupees 1 lakh 50,000 respectively on April the 1st, 2005. Reshma added more capital of rupees 1 lakh on August the 1st, 2005, and Radha brought in the further capital of rupees 1 lakh 50,000 on October the 1st, 2005. Interest is to be allowed at 6% per annum on the capitals. The interest on capital will be calculated as Interest on drawings Sometimes no opening capital is given in that situation. We first need to calculate the opening capital before calculating interest on capital on the basis of closing capital after making all kinds of adjustments out of that. Interest on drawings. The partnership deed may contain the adjustment to be done for interest on the amount withdrawn by the partners out of the firm. If there is nothing mentioned in the deed, then no interest will be charged. If it is mentioned in the deed, then the interest is being charged on the agreed rate for the period for which the amount is outstanding with the partners in an accounting year. The calculation of interest on drawings in different situations. When the fixed amount is withdrawn every month. Suppose a fixed amount of money is withdrawn by the partners in each month. So for calculating the time period, we must take care. When was the fixed amount was withdrawn? If the money is withdrawn on the first day of every month, interest on total amount will be calculated 
for six months and 15 days. If withdrawn at the end of every month, it will be calculated for five months and 15 days. And if withdrawn is done in the middle of the month, it will be calculated for six months. For example, Ankit withdrew rupees 10,000 per month from the firm for his personal use during the year ending March 31st, 2006. The calculation of average period and the interest on drawings in different situations would be as follows. Interest on drawings When a fixed amount is withdrawn quarterly, when a partner withdraws a fixed amount in each quarter, then interest will be calculated on the basis of time the amount is withdrawn. If it is withdrawn at the beginning of the quarter, then the interest will be calculated for a period of seven and a half months. If the amount is withdrawn at the end of the quarter, then the interest will be calculated for four and a half months. Let us take an example of Satish and Tilak, who are partners in a firm, sharing profits and losses equally. During the financial year 2005-2006, Satish withdrew rupees 30,000 quarterly. If interest is to be charged on drawings at 8% per annum, the calculation of average period and interest on drawings will be as follows. When different amounts are withdrawn by the partners at different intervals. When in the organization, the partners withdraw different amounts at different time periods. In that condition, the interest on the drawing is calculated on the basis of product method. In the production method, each time money withdrawn is multiplied by the months for which it remained withdrawn during the financial year. The period is calculated from the date of the withdrawal to the last day of the accounting year. For example, Shenaz withdrew the following amounts from a firm for personal use during the year ending March 31st, 2006. Calculate interest on drawings by product method if the rate of interest to be charged is 7%. When dates of withdrawal are not specified, when the total amount withdrawn by the partners is given, but the date of withdrawing amount is not specified, in that case, it is assumed that the amount is withdrawn evenly throughout the year. For example, Shalin withdrew rupees 60,000 from partnership firm during the year ending March 31st, 2006, and the rate of interest on drawings is 8% per annum. For calculation of interest, the period would be taken as six months, which is the average period assuming that the amount is withdrawn evenly in the middle of the month throughout the year. The amount of interest on drawing works out to rupees 2400 as follows. Guarantee of profit to a partner. At times, a new partner is involved in the firm by giving him a guarantee of a minimum amount as a way of profit share in the firm. Such a guarantee of money can be given by the old partners in a certain ratio or can be given by an old partner with the consent of the other partners. The minimum guaranteed amount shall be paid to the new partner when his share of profit as per the profit sharing ratio is less than the guaranteed amount. When dates of withdrawal not specified and past adjustments. Let us understand guarantee of profit with an example. Madhu and Rakshita, who are partners in a firm, decide to admit Kanika into their firm, giving her the guarantee of a minimum of rupees 25,000 as a share in the firm's profits. The firm earned a profit of rupees 1,20,000 during the year and the agreed profit sharing ratio between the partners is decided as 2 is to 3 is to 1. Let us understand how this would be distributed between them.
past adjustments. At times after preparing the final accounts, there are many mistakes, omissions found in preparation of statements or recording of transactions. All these acts of omission and commission can be corrected by making adjustments. So instead of changing the old accounts entries, necessary adjustments can be made either through profit and loss adjustment account or directly in the capital accounts of the concerned partners. Let us understand this with an example. Ramiz and Zaheer are equal partners. Their capitals as on April the 1st, 2006 were rupees 50,000 and rupees 1 lakh respectively. After the accounts for the financial year ending March 31st, 2007 have been prepared, it is discovered that interest at the rate of 6% per annum as provided in the partnership deed has not been credited to the partners. Capital accounts before distribution of profit. Omission of entries and final accounts. In this case, the interest on capital not credited to the partner's capital accounts works out to be rupees 3000, 6 by 100 into 50,000 for Ramiz and rupees 6000, 6 by 100 into 1 lakh for Zaheer. If the interest on capital had been duly provided, the firm's profit would have reduced by rupees 9,000. By this omission, the whole amount of profit as per profit and loss account, without adjustment of rupees 9,000, has been distributed among the partners in their profit sharing ratio, and the amounts of interest on capital have not been credited to their capital accounts. This error can be rectified in any of the following ways. Final accounts. The final accounts of a partnership firm are prepared as prepared for a sole trading business. The only difference is the distribution of profits amongst the partners. After preparing the trading and profit and loss account, the net profit or net loss is transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account. All adjustments are made through the profit and loss appropriation account, whether it's interest on capital, interest on loan, salary, commissions, etc. This is done to differentiate between the results of operations of the business and the distribution of the profit among the owners. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. When two or more people start a business or set up and share profit and loss they are called as partners. The association between partners is known as partnership. There should be at least two persons to start a partnership and having common goals. The partnership deed is an agreement between the partners written or oral. It contains the terms of the agreement. If nothing is mentioned about profit and loss sharing in partnership deed, then it should be distributed equally amongst the partners. No partner can claim any interest on capital invested in the business by him without the consent of all the partners. In fixed capital method, the capital of the partners remains fixed by the time more amount is invested or withdrawn as per the agreement. Under fluctuating capital method only, one account is maintained for each partner, which is capital account. The purpose of profit and loss appropriation account is to show how the profit and loss is distributed amongst the partners. At time